It's a play about people and how people relate to each other and how people trust each other and how people can manipulate each other. And it really taps into some of the lightest and some of the darkest sides of our humanity. King Lear has three daughters. One of them's his favorite, and he's dividing his kingdom. Well, there's very little, there's very little backstory to King Lear. What you see is what you get. It opens at a certain point in their familial and political and social history, and then continues to go that way. She's the eldest of Lear's three daughters. Her whole life, she's been pushed aside, verbally abused is what we've decided on. And she's had to deal with Lear's brusqueness, his anger, his rage. She's had to take the brunt of that because she was the first disappointment. She wasn't a boy. It's very easy to play Regan as the sexy one or the character who most uses her sensuality, which is true to an extent. What we've really tapped into in rehearsal so far is that Regan is the character who best understands her femininity within this world that is dominated by men. So Cordelia and King Lear is the youngest daughter. She's yet to be broken into this harsh world, but as she does, she grows. And the progression of her throughout the show is very interesting, and she's always the one that goes back to Lear and always tries to show how much she truly loves him. Mm. The fact that Lear's feelings about his daughters change so quickly can either have to do with his particular state of health, or it's to do with something else that happened right before the play started, or last week, or last month. You really see the rise and fall of the characters, and you know, there's this sense of utopia, dystopia, and a new world.